Police in Boston had to set up a perimeter around Boston Children's Hospital. After someone called in a bomb threat. Why would anyone do that? It's a children's hospital, that sounds crazy. Well, this follows the incessant nonstop posts from libs of TikTok where Raya, I'm sorry, Chaya Rachik just lies about these hospitals, basically in her words, mutilating and castrating children. And of course, it's more of the anti-transgender garbage that you can expect from the right wing. That's all they're obsessed with. Just making the LGBTQ's lives absolutely disastrous. To the point where we now have right wingers sending in bomb threats to children's hospitals. Because they've been lied to by accounts like libs of TikTok, alleging that doctors are doing all sorts of irreparable harm to transgender children. So let's talk a little bit about what she's doing. Rachik's recent efforts against Boston Children's Hospital, Children's National Hospital in DC and others have led to violent threats against healthcare providers and at least one request for help from law enforcement. Now, libs of TikTok has fallen silent on Twitter recently because they're experiencing yet another suspension over the hateful content and rhetoric that you could typically see. Taylor Lorenz reports that the suspension places the account in read only mode for seven days. And Media Matters has also covered this, writing that the Twitter suspension comes after libs of TikTok targeted Children's National Hospital in Washington, DC, leading to online suggestions about bombing the hospital and putting its employees in a wood chipper. These people seem like they really care about protecting children. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The account has targeted multiple other hospitals providing gender affirming care resulting in threats to patients and providers. Now, what Rachik likes to do is essentially lie about the gender affirming care that is being provided to transgender minors, okay? Again, she claims that they're undergoing you know, gender reassignment surgery that is not happening with minors. In fact, there is Uh, overall agreement within the medical community that you should not do those surgeries on minors. You should wait until they're at least 18 years old. And I think the way that they're going about it is actually the right way to do it. Because if you look at the data, if you look at the statistics, less than 1% of transgender people who go through uh, you know, reassignment regret it, less than 1%. But if you read libs of TikTok, you would be under the impression that all of these people are being mutilated, it's a massive regret, they, they wanna go after the doctors. No, that's not what's happening. These are just people who have way too much time on their hands. I mean, up until recently, uh, Rachik was a real estate agent. Now she's just a full-time tweeter, great. And this is all she does all day long. And so uh, she has claimed that these hospitals are doing hysterectomies on transgender boys when there's absolutely no evidence to indicate that that's happening. Well, to be fair, she did call into one hospital and the operators told her something that was inaccurate. And then all the right wing just ran with it. So let's talk about that. Children's National Hospital released a statement saying, none of the people who were secretly recorded by this activist group deliver care to our patients, we do not and have never performed gender affirming hysterectomies for anyone under the age of 18. So she calls the hospital, talks to two people who said that someone at the age of 16 would be eligible for a hysterectomy. But like they're just randos who picked up the phone. So like if I call a car dealership and talk to the receptionist, and the receptionist tells me, "Oh no, no, no totally. You can buy um, a new Tesla for fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. Only a moron would take what the receptionist said and just run with it as if it's fact. Are those operators that you talk to actual doctors? Do they know what they're talking about? And and look, to be fair, I would have questioned whether the operators were real or whether she really called the hospital. But 
the hospital has not questioned the authenticity uh, of that recording. But yeah, that's that's what's happening. So she's claiming that you have like a bunch of 16 year olds getting hysterectomies and that it's wrong. And now you know we need to go after these hospitals. Think about the institutions that get targeted by these right wingers who've got way too much time on their hands, who are apparently miserable individuals because all they want to focus on is making other people miserable with threats of violence, with hateful rhetoric. They go after teachers, they go after doctors, they go after professors, they go after, I mean, they're, they're, there's no telling how low they're willing to go, really. They're terrorizing children's hospitals with their garbage. I mean, I just, I don't get it. How do you have that much hatred in your heart where people who are going through a lot in this country, I mean, think about how powerless the transgender community is. Think about how powerless transgender teens are. And you have made it your life's mission to demonize them, to go after them to threaten them with violence, to threaten hospitals who provide gender affirming care with violence. And what, is, what does gender affirming care mean? It could be something as simple as counseling, which I would uh, venture to say transgender minors probably desperately need because they're going through a lot. It's it, regular teenagers who aren't transgender are going through a lot, okay? So that by the way, will get you investigated in the state of Texas. Because how dare you provide any gender affirming care to a transgender person? Parents are getting investigated if they're actually supportive of their transgender kids in the state of Texas. This is what the right wing wants. They just want to terrorize people they don't like. That's it, that's, that's all they focus on. In a country that has a million problems, this is what their focus is. And of course, once Libs of TikTok puts out that disinformation about hysterectomies being performed on minors, what happens? Gets picked up by the Daily Caller, it gets picked up by Matt Walsh. And that's the signal to all the right wing lunatics in this country to start sending in your bomb threats, start terrorizing these people. Similar to how Alex Jones's fans decided to terrorize the parents who lost their children in the Sandy Hook massacre. It's like they get some sick pleasure or delight out of it. So here's a video put together by Media Matters that shows you exactly how this all works. They've done it up until this moment without much resistance from the public. But that has to end. We have to stop making it so easy on them. And that's why I'm in the very early stages of trying to organize a national coordinated effort to fight back against this evil. You know, it's really just a matter of where do we begin? Maybe we begin at Boston Children's Hospital. Boston Children's Hospital says its staff is being threatened and harassed now after far right activists on social media posted misinformation claiming they perform gender affirming hysterectomy procedures on young girls. The hospital says it's not true. They do not perform those procedures for anyone under the age of 18. Boston Children's Hospital says it is proud though to be home to the first pediatric and adolescent transgender health program in the United States. The hospital though now is working with law enforcement to try to better protect its staff in the face of these lies. And so now, as we shared with you earlier, Boston Children's Hospital gets a bomb threat. Police have to investigate it. Luckily, they didn't find a bomb, no one got hurt. But how many acts of right wing violence have we seen in this country? So I'm glad that they're taking the threat seriously and they're having the police investigate it. I mean, can you imagine if someone bombed a children's hospital? over freaking libs of TikTok, that's where we are in the country. You've got, I would argue, a pretty small group of people trying to make this place a better country to live in. And then you have the right wing with all their power, with all their money, with all their hatred, targeting literally the least powerful people in this country and making their lives even more miserable. It's all they have to offer you. This right chick woman, man, I can't imagine how miserable she is. And honestly, that's the only thing that gives me solace, knowing how sad and pathetic that woman is.